Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. Today's topic video is about Halloween. Now, many people that are Christians say not to celebrate Halloween. And that, I would agree to a point, meaning that we shouldn't go out there and celebrate witchcraft and magical spells and we shouldn't find uh, demonic cults or anything like that and practice any of the evil things that we know that the Bible says is wrong. However, simply inviting kids or allowing them to come to your home and giving them candy or even just having a kind smile and representing Christ instead of um, stay in your homes, turning the lights off, and hiding. We should be embracing the public because they're coming to our door. They're literally, one day of the year, parents and children come to our door and are looking for someone to connect with them. So by giving candy, and I would recommend giving a Bible track or maybe a pocket Bible, um, that way you're spreading the gospel and instead of showing fear you're doing the Lord's work and you're not sinning by doing this you're just interacting with people and that's fine I'm also not against Christians taking their kids trick-or-treating if a child dresses up as Batman or a princess or anything that's not evil there's nothing wrong with that. There's not a word in the Bible that says that that is wrong. So it is up to us as Christians to determine what is right and wrong for each individual household. Now, people that go on a rampage and make posts and articles saying that you're sinning and you're evil if you celebrate Halloween as a Christian or anyone that does celebrate Halloween is evil, that's not up to you. It's up to each household to determine what is right and what they do with it. That is the truth. We need to be steadfast to know that we can trust the Holy Spirit to tell us what's right and wrong. Now, for some families, if Halloween isn't right for you and you don't want to do it and you don't want your kids to go trick-or-treating, that's entirely up to you, but don't force that on other people. And there's ways, um, several churches do trunk or treat, or they do like a fall festival. There's ways that churches can still embrace the community and show the love of God during this time. So there's no reason to be afraid on Halloween because we can still make an impact on the community by using this day to serve God. So that's all I'm saying today. Halloween is only evil if you let it be. So please, for those of you that, you know, say, say that it's so evil, just Keep it to yourself, and that that's your choice, and let people decide for themselves what's right and wrong. And like I said, instead of hiding with the lights off, acting like you aren't home, embrace the community and show God's love. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. Have a wonderful day.